Let's get started. Mikey and I are going to have a very interesting day today because yep. we decided to have a battle. Yes, the battle is that I'm the coolest here. But huh? seriously, my tiny head is against JJ's huge head. And on these heads, we will survive what? and fight because there will be only one winner. Hey, what are you up to? Have we already started a battle? Mikey, let's not do this because it might end badly for you. Do you understand me? Just don't tell me that you're going to build a TNT cannon. You're not serious or what's wrong with you? JJ, how smart you are. Oh. So let's not do this nonsense, okay? All you have to do is surrender to me. Uh -oh. So let's not delay what's inevitable. You've already lost. And I think you already oh, no. realize that you shouldn't have decided to come to this battle. Mikey, maybe we can come to an agreement. Do you hear me? It's not too late to stop this and try to resolve everything peacefully. But it seems that you won't listen to anyone. I understand you. You wanted it yourself. Come on, take TNT on your head. That's what no. I understand already battle. Or did oh, no. you think that I was going to chat with you here? Hey, what are you up to? What are you doing? JJ, you're scaring me. What are you up to already? Hmm, what is here? I'm huh? very interested. So, I'm already inside my head. And there's something interesting here. This is a lucky block. Oh. And I'll take everything in it for myself. Wow, I like this already. It's not for nothing that Mikey blew up TNT. If he hadn't done that, I wouldn't have known that I had a lucky <gasps> block with cool objects in my head. JJ, did you get concussed by an explosion? What other lucky blocks in your head? <laughs> what objects? Are you crazy? Or what's wrong with you? If you think that I'll feel sorry for you because of this, then you're not oh. right at all. I'll fight to the bitter end. Well, you can think the way you feel comfortable. I'm fine. The main thing is that now I have a weapon and a diamond pickaxe, but you don't have it. So I think that oh. now we can get down to the most interesting thing. It's survival. And I'd better advise you not to engage in nonsense and just accept that I'm much better than you. Well, I wouldn't say that. Or do you think your bow and sword can withstand my TNT cannon? I wouldn't be so sure if I were you. So, come on. You better not do nonsense and make the right decisions before it ends badly for you. Because I won't wait for anything. Do you understand me? And anyway, you don't have anything, even though your head is much bigger than mine. So let's give up. Mikey, I even have food in my trunk here. Oh. And you have nothing else besides your TNT. So all you're telling me is just envy. And I'm not even listening to you. I'm tired of you. And I hope it ends soon. Do you understand me or not? It seems that everything will be fine with me unlike you. Because you've already lost. And I don't understand what you're waiting for. So let's just give me everything you have and then I'll probably let you just live peacefully on your head. Do you agree to these conditions? Where have you gone again? Why do you constantly go down there? Even now, I myself wonder what you are doing there, and I hope that you will reveal this secret to me. So let's not do this nonsense and do as I say, because I'm not going to put up with you here for long. Huh? Or do you think that if you have a bigger head and you have food and weapons, then you immediately become cool? But I have to upset you. This is far from the case, so I hope that you understand this and still give me at least half of your food. Or are you greedy? So, come on! You won't tell me anything anymore. I won't share it with you, and don't even hope that I'll give you something. You didn't guess it at all. Well, well, hmm, what is going on here? Yeah! It doesn't seem to me right. Oh my god! JJ, why did you set me on fire? Are you kidding me? Or why are you doing this to me? I don't understand you at all. Great. Now I have time until he shows up. And I know what I'm going to do with his water. He's going to finish drinking sooner or later, but it's going to be a big surprise for him. Okay, now I have to clean up the dirt. Come on. You better not do any nonsense because I don't like it. I'm not going to give up and give you something. I'm going to win this challenge. And you know it. You're just trying to somehow prove me wrong, but you're not good at it. Everyone knows that I'm the best survivalist, and you know it too. But for some reason, you're doing it wrong. I'm already tired of all this. These heads are kind of strange, and there turns out to be a lot of interesting things here. Hmm, JJ, of course I understand. You're busy there, but I found something really cool here. There's some kind of green puddle in my head, and it seems to me that this is what I need, but I do not quite understand how to use it and whether it is possible to drink it. Oh, what else is it? It seems like it's not water. I always knew Mikey was weird, but not that weird. 
It's very strange even for him, but it's only better for me because now I'm going to have an advantage over Mikey for a while. And I'm going to take advantage of this to do something cool so I don't have to waste a minute on it because I don't have much time anyway. And Mikey will obviously come up with something with this poison. Hey, don't write me off. I'm actually busy here and I'm alive. I was just unlucky. I didn't know what it was and how to use it, but now I know and everything will be fine with me. And I hope that you understand this too and won't make fun of me because of this incident. And anyway, what are you doing there? Do you seriously think that if you build a farm, it will somehow save you from my anger? If so, then I will tell you right away that you are very deeply mistaken and it may end badly for you. Why do you talk so much? Do you have nothing to do or what are you trying to achieve? Hey, what are you doing? Are you crazy? Oh my God, not that. I don't wanna die, but I'm not just going to let it go. I'm going to take revenge on him. Mikey, I'll tell you right away that you shouldn't have done it. So now I'm declaring war on you and you can't get away from it. And I hope that you understand that this will end very badly for you. Do what you want. I don't care about you. I'm the coolest here. You've never even been able to beat me because you're a loser. And if I were you, I'd put up with it. So come on, don't show off and do something useful because all you do is cry that you are constantly being destroyed. But this will continue. So I will not leave it all like this. I will prepare for the battle. I now realize that Mikey had already thought through everything he could. And I also had to do something useful. And I hope that I will succeed. So I will dig a mine for now. At least it's safe here. And I will prepare for the attacks. And how do you like me now? I have iron armor now. So now Mikey definitely won't be able to dump me with chicken eggs, but I think he won't even try to do it because he'll just be scared of me. So this is just the beginning. I hope that there are still diamonds in my head and then I will make a diamond armor for myself. And only I don't quite understand where these cows come from, what they do, but I think it doesn't matter because then I'll just eat beef but first I'll fry it in the oven. So I'm definitely provided with everything I need here now, but there's someone who can stop me from winning this battle. You said that about me just now, right? But where did you get the iron armor? Where did you find it? Or are you saying that all this time you've been digging a cave? What kind of loser are you? Are you really so afraid of me that you even made yourself an armor? But this armor won't help you when I just throw you into the abyss. So. Let's finish with these. I hope that everything ends well. That is, with my victory. How self-confident you are, and it may end badly for you. So, wait, what is this? Mikey, are you serious? Are you fishing in my mini lake? This is my territory. So let's stop fishing here, or it will end badly for you. Do you understand me or not? Hey, that's not fair. Give me back my fish. I caught it. Are you kidding me? You don't deserve this. So I'm telling you to give it back in a good way. And where are you going? Do you think that you can hide from me and that I won't be able to get to you? You're not serious? But I already like this. So I'll keep this fish for myself and then eat it. But I have to find the diamonds to make my armor. But where does the cage with the Enderman come from? But I know what to do with it. I will destroy this Enderman because I will not allow monsters to be in my head. And now I like this. So now I have Ender Pearl, but I'm not going to show it and say, let this Andrew Pearl be a surprise for Mikey. When the time is right, I will use it. And then he will have no chance to win this battle. JJ, is that you? You're finally back. Otherwise I got bored. Well, you've already eaten my fish. Was it delicious for you? But I won't forget it. So don't even think that I'll let you get away with it. And anyway, why don't you want to give up? You can't even get to my head in any way. You won't succeed. So let's give up because I'm not going to put up with you for a very long time. Do you understand me or not? Mikey, I have something for you, but I'm not going to talk about it yet. Let it be a surprise for you. So I wouldn't relax if I were you. In the meantime, I'm going to build defensive structures for myself here from people like you. I also have a lot of cobblestones because I dug a cave unlike you and all you have to do is look at me and talk about giving up or threatening. But alas, you're not going to make it out of this. 
You've already lost, and I'm just waiting for the moment to do what I have in mind. There is, so don't worry about it. So just do whatever you want. And most importantly, don't give up. I see how self-confident you are, but if I were you, I wouldn't be so confident in my abilities because you still don't know what I'm capable of and what I am. I've cooked it, so don't relax. Hmm, if you're interested, then I'm not even listening to you. So just calm down and start surviving on your head if you can do it, of course. But I wouldn't be so sure if I were you. The main thing is that you believe in yourself, and that's the most important thing, because no one else will believe in you, and I promise you that. So just all you have to do is accept it and do what you think is right. Do what you want. I don't care about you anymore because I've come up with something cooler than your caves or what are you doing there anyway? I've already managed to build the defense of my head and I'm already starting to build something really cool. You'll like it. The main thing is don't look here because it's a gift and go where you were going. Go get your resources in your cave or what are you even up to? I don't care anymore. So just leave me alone, okay? Who are you talking to there anyway? Do you think that someone is listening to you? But I have to disappoint you. No one here takes you seriously at all. So it's better to just shut up and not draw attention to yourself until I want to deal with you myself. Don't bother me. The main thing is that you should understand that I'm busy here working out a plan to defeat you and destroy you. And I know perfectly well that you're thinking about it too. But I can warn you that you won't succeed. So don't waste your time on this nonsense. And anyway, don't even think about it so that everything would be okay with me. Hmm, you're so funny. I'm listening to you and I can't believe my ears. You're seriously thinking that you can beat me, but you won't succeed. You're just wasting my time and your time on all sorts of nonsense. And I don't understand why you're doing this and what you're trying to do to achieve this. Everyone already understands that I have much more opportunities to win. And I am much smarter and stronger than you. And I also have something that you do not have. Okay, I'm tired of all this. I'm tired of playing these games with you. Now it's time to talk to you seriously because you don't understand ordinary words. So come on, come here or not. Let's better, I'll come to you to destroy you. I think this is the best option of all those that can be possible. And you don't bother me, otherwise you'll die. I warned you and you didn't listen to me, so you get what you deserve. And don't you dare blame me for this because everyone knows that I'm the best of us, not you. So you lost the first battle, but this is just the beginning. So accept it. You will lose more than once. No, you're just lucky and it won't happen again. So get off my head and don't come running to me for a single block so that I don't see you here anymore. I hope that you understand me and still listen and don't make any more mistakes because I'll just destroy you. I already have everything you need for this and I'm warning you, don't come near me because next time you won't be able to do the same, I'll just throw you down and everyone will forget about you and the fact that you can beat someone. You said the same thing before and how did it all end? You just flew off into the abyss and this will happen every time until you finally realize that you have no chance of defeating me. And anyway, why do you still think you can beat me? Have you seen how much I've already done? And what do I have? No, you haven't seen it and you won't see it because I'll leave it for later. So just wait for your fate. And when the time comes, you'll understand that I was right. And you only hindered me to win. You didn't even fight me. How cool am I? He just doesn't stand a chance against me. And I haven't even used my secret weapon yet, but sooner or later, I'll use what I have in my inventory. I've already destroyed Mikey many times, but he doesn't stop. He still thinks he has at least some chance against me. And I even feel sorry for him. Maybe he's not even entirely to blame for being such a loser, but I don't care. I'll just do what I wanted and no one can stop me. JJ, what is it? Can't you get to me? Or are you already afraid of me? Of course I understand that this is so, but don't give up so quickly. Maybe you can get to me, but it seems that not this time. So you better not try. Go mind your own business. Give me time to strengthen my head. Yes, do nonsense further. It suits me quite well and I won't die so easily. Because I have to do this. So give up already. You deserve it more than everyone else. So what do you want to watch me destroy your head? Aren't you having as much fun as you were when you were laughing at me in the cave? Well, now it's my turn to laugh at you. 
and I will destroy everything related to you and this head so that you would still understand that you messed with the wrong one and you should have immediately given up and not waste my time. Okay, I'm tired of this. So I wish you good luck. You're going to need it. Do what you want. I hid and I don't care what you end up doing. You can't get me and don't even try to find me. I'm leaving my army to fight and I'm retreating and it's better for you not to know where I am. Maybe I'm on your head, maybe on my own, but it doesn't matter because my voice is in your head and you can't get rid of it in any way. So, are you still fighting my head? Do you really think you can beat them? I wouldn't be so sure if I were you, because you don't have any chance of winning me, so don't even try. Do you understand me or not? What do you say to that, Mikey? What, you're not as cool as you used to be, or you didn't expect this from me? Well, I admit that you were able to defeat me. You turned out to be stronger than me this time. You did well, and I lost as always, but we will have more challenges where I can win back and I will do it.